Hello and welcome back to One Train Reverse the World Season 2. When we last left our protagonist, she had defeated her rival once more, and now the time has come to finally deliver the finishing blow to Team Rocket. Eventually. As soon as I've killed all these guys. As Pokemon. I don't kill people. Nah, I'd say you were sucked by having a crappy team. Oh my god, that was the hardest puzzle I have ever done. I have this strange feeling that you're not gonna be worth my time. I have this strange feeling that I was right. Ugh, this is bringing back bad memories from later games. Just non-stop boring and unchallenging grunt battles. I got this far because every last one of you is garbage. Case in point, garbage. You got disposed of, because you are garbage, and that is what you do, with garbage. You know, that fit quite perfectly. I actually did not plan that. Sorry, Mr. President, the TM was more important than you were. Why, thank you. Meh, well if you insist, I suppose I will save the radio tower then. Oh, and would you look at that? More money for me! Alright, finally I am at the last stretch. And you, I don't foresee you being a threat. I was right. You were, in fact, not a threat. Oh, for goodness sakes, shut up, Mom. I'm trying to do something important here. Well, Executive Proton, you might prove a bit more of a threat than your underlings. But I have defeated you before. I'm pretty sure I can do it again. In fact, you don't even look to be all that strong. Seriously. Laxus, go there and zap this gold bat out of the sky. You know how to do it. Now, if only you also know how to hit through your confusion. Which I remember you had problems with the last time. Excellent job, Laxus. And you, you might potentially explode. In which case Tristan, with his damp ability, which prevents you from exploding, would be very useful. On the other hand, you might throw smoke in his face. In which case Tristan might be a bit annoyed. I'm a body slam you. Man, that did nothing. The amount of nothing that did is honestly kind of admirable. And now Tristan is poisoned. Meh. Charlotte in that case.
Okay, to hell with it, Norbert. And now do not explode in my face. You did not explode in my face. At the same time, you lowered my accuracy. Mm -hmm. You just want to look at my entire team, don't you? Well, too bad. You're not getting to look at my entire team. Why would I ever send out QB against you? That would be a stupid thing of me to do. You are annoying me quite a lot, you know that? Ugh, oh, just use extra sensory on it, this is ridiculous. See, there wasn't even anything to worry about. So much money. Now, what do we have here? An Ultra Ball. Meh. And I need to now heal up from all the p from all the poisoning that happened there. There. And now to carry on. And uh, no, I do not believe I remember you. Sorry. Did you exist? I feel like you may not actually exist. You might just be a figment of my imagination. That is how much of an impression you have left on me. I am seriously questioning if you even exist at all. How dare you! Dudley, hit through your paralysis and make the ground crumble beneath this pathetic snake's feet. Excellent work, Dudley. And since you weren't intimidated, I am going to assume that this will kill. It did indeed kill. Awesome. Okay, but I do not want mm, Dudley in against this. That would be absolute retardedness. Fat load of good that's gonna do ya. Well, guess what? Norbert knows this lovely move called the Flamethrower. It's so nice that he doesn't have to rely on extra sensory for everything anymore. Even though extra sensory would also be super effective here, but... And if it had scored critical, it probably would have killed anyway. You know, for being called Vile Plume, it doesn't look particularly vile. Don't go scoring critical hits on me. Do you not know that that is pure evil? And if the best you have against me is Nightshade, then I see no reason to worry. For you are a Murkrow, a Pokemon that isn't particularly strong. And now you are no longer a Murkrow. Yes, you fought so hard. It was such a challenging battle. It really pushed me to the edge of my limb, to the edge of my abilities. And eh, sorry, I seem to have forgotten who you are again. All right then, the final battle. So you're the head honcho here, are you? Oh. You've managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio tower and officially announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. 
We are going to regain our former glory. I will not allow you to interfere with our meticulous plans. Yeah. Oh look, it's a Johto Pokemon that isn't found in Johto. Really kind of dumb how they did that. Like, introduce a hundred new Pokemon, make it so that several of them are only available in the post-game. Why? I must give you credit though, you actually have decent levels, Mr. Archer, sir. For that you have owned, mm, you have, the, you have, for that you have earned yourself a tiny iota of my respect. But just a smidge. I mean, I'm still going to utterly destroy you. Although, again, there is the threat of... No, there is not the threat of self-destruct. For this is going to kill. You know, coughing evolves at level 35. You could have had a wheezing instead. Hound Doom! <gasps> oh my god! This thing is in fact stronger than anything I have! What ever shall I do? Use Earthquake? I suppose I could use Earthquake. Now don't flinch, Charlotte. Did you not hear me? Use Earthquake with something that is actually bulkier? Ah, but then he used something that isn't not very effective. Instead he used something that is neutrally effective. Now then, this battle should be over I think, probably. And if not, I'm healing. This battle is over. No, forgive me, Giovanni. How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I was not up to the task after all. Like Giovanni has done before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Like hell you will! Team Rocket is going to continue operating, thank you very much. It's just that from now on, you answer to me. And once and once in the future, when I have gained enough power, we will reveal our true name. Team, your house is on fire. This is not the last you have seen of me, Mr. Archer. Oh, hi, Mr. Director. Um, I totally defeated Team Rocket, and uh, you are never going to see them again. I mean, if things go according to plan, he won't see them again because I told him to out and to operate undercover so that people would notice that they were there. And now the game wants me to face a legendary Pokémon, which. Isn't actually really necessary to the story in any way, but for some reason the game is forcing me to go there anyway. Oh, hi, mom. You know... It's kind of annoying being called by you all the time when I'm trying to do important stuff. Such as forming my own evil organization. Very inconvenient. So, after defeating Team Rocket at the radio tower, you know what has now been unlocked? 
trainer rematches. And you know when I'm recording this? Sunday! Which means I can get a water stone! Alright, mister. I have waited for so long to be able to do this. Now, it is time for me to beat you up a second time! You have been beaten up a second time! Wait. Tristan wants to learn belly drum. I mean, it's somewhat risky, but at the same time, it could be so useful. You know, I think I'm actually going to go with that. This man does not appear to actually want to give me a water stone. I don't know how to get him to do it either. He, it's supposed to be this guy, but he isn't giving me anything. On the other hand, I found that apparently there is also an obtainable water stone at the Seafoam Islands. In fact, there are two. So, I suppose the logical thing to do would be to instead go there. Seeing how, well, I have to go there anyway. Also, I wonder how our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is doing. Grown by seven levels. This is clearly not particularly helpful. Though I think I shall be wanting him in my party for a bit, because I understand I'm going to need some more AGM moves in order to access the Seafoam Islands, and I don't want to waste move slots on AGM moves all the time. So therefore, I am going to instead use a Pokémon that I don't really use otherwise. Now then, if memory serves me right, I have to do stuff in Ecruteak City before I can go to the Whirlpool Islands, or... I mean, I can't go there, but before I can encounter Lugia, which is the point of going there. Well, the point aside from also getting, you know, the Water Stone. Nope, apparently it wasn't here I was supposed to go. Then... The Professor, maybe? Nope. Nope. Hmm, maybe I'm just supposed to go there and then like the cutscenes and stuff to, mm, to trigger Lugia happen while I'm there. I don't know. Alright. Whirl Islands. Here we are. And I would rather like some more light. Do I have something I can waste a flash on? I don't think I'll ever need it again after this, so... In any case, I think I have something that can indeed learn it, yes. I mean, I'm basically relying entirely on Thunderbolt and... Why do I still have Growl? Just... Even Flash is more useful than Growl. Alright then. Now let's see if I get some cool encounters here. Uh, nope. Alright then, trying a second time. Uh, nope. Alright then, final try. And uh, nope. Suddenly it occurred to me. This isn't the Seafoam Islands. The Seafoam Islands are, you guessed it, in Kanto! Why is it so freaking impossible to get evolutionary stones in this freaking game? Ah, oh, well, it looks like I can go get Lugia after all. And there are some items over there that I apparently can't go and get. Or... Um... Seriously, what is it going to take for me to actually encounter Lugia? I have apparently been completely wrong about everything and I'm not even supposed to fight Lugia yet. 
Ugh, this is not my day. Well, I suppose it's just time to continue onwards then. Hopefully towards Pokemon who are wild Pokemon with higher levels than 15. Okay, seriously, is there no grass on this route? Why? Why would you make the grass so freaking hard to find? You can't even see it unless you go out into the water looking for it, and I didn't want to go out into the water looking for it. Oh look, it's another bell sprout. Unfortunately, seeing how I had the grass starter in this game, this bell sprout is kind of useless to me. However, that is what I ended up with. And its name shall be... The P stands for Professor. That was the only way I could get that to fit. Yet again, a Harry Potter name, and strictly speaking, Professor Sprout is a female character, but... Meh. Also, Crash. Now then, this is yet another new area. Please don't give me a deli bird. Well, that is not a deli bird, but it's also something I can't catch. And that is also not a deli bird. And it's something I can catch. Your name shall be Jack Frost. Ooh, that's gonna be useful. In fact, I should probably just go... Wait, nah, I won't teach it to Tristan right now. He still has Surf, and I'd have to get rid of something else. So, once I get to the move deleter, in the next town, then I am going to mm, teach him surf. Oh, well how nice of you. I thought you were going to challenge me to a battle. But you weren't going to challenge me to a battle. You were just telling me to take your stuff. Oh, bugger. I am going to need to leave this cave so that I can get an A-Gem Slave. Or rather, so that I can get Dudley, who is apparently not with me right now. Yeah, I did some off-screen playing yesterday and just... I seem to have completely forgotten what I did because my heart really just wasn't in it at the time. Well, I know I did some work at the Poke at the Pokeathlon because it turns out that that is apparently a way I can get a water stone on Wednesdays, which means I'll probably be able to get it around the same time that I enter the Pokemon League at this rate. I mean, I'm recording this now on Monday and we're not exactly far from the league, just one gym and then a long, long road. Alright. Dudley, for some reason you were not in my party. Come be in my party. Also, I figure maybe I should level up Jesus and, give, and have him with me in the next gym. Because, well, he could learn ice moves, which would be rather useful against the next gym. So, stuff. I think I shall. All right, and now I can push things! Wait, what? I could have sworn I could push things! Did I just not save the part where I taught Dudley strength? 
Alright, I probably didn't, because I lost a lot of my progress in the world island after a crash and I didn't bother to reclaim it because nothing of it of value was gained. There. Now I can push things. Ugh, the encounter rates in this cave are not very high, and that actually kind of throws me off when I do encounter something. Oh look, it's that thing I'm really glad I didn't get! Because it is trash! And now it is dead trash! There, and now I think this extremely challenging strength puzzle has been solved and I can progress. Indeed. Go, Dudley, the AGM slave! I feel like he's gotten so bogged down with the AGM moves by now that I'm not sure I'll even have a place for him on my Leeton champion team. And that's actually kind of sad, considering how he's been with me since the very beginning. Oh look, it's that Asian lady again. Me oh my, is it that you, Vega? Fancy meeting you here. To tell you the truth, my sandals are, st are frozen on the ice and I am stuck here. In other words, my flip-flops are quick frozen with the ground. Tee <laughs> Well, it's no laughing matter. Will you push my back? You really are the kind. Yeah, sure, whatever. Thank you so much. Man, I need to get my accent straight. That did not sound particularly Asian. Also, I suppose I really shouldn't be surprised to encounter Asian characters in this game that is supposed to be set in Japan, but for some reason I am. And here we are, in a new city. Are you going to want to fight me in a second? Evidently not. You just wanted to congratulate, congratulate me on how awesome I am. And I mean, yes, I am awesome, but... Kind of rare that people doesn't, don't want anything else. Now then, if memory serves me right, the move deleter is right here. Ultimate moves, eh? Ah, oh, this is just like teaching the starters the ultimate moves, right? Indeed. Well then, are you the move deleter? Yes, you are indeed the move deleter. I want Tristan to lose Surf in favor of a move that will work be Yes, a move that will work better with his um, with his offensive stats. And now that Tristan no longer has Surf, I suppose Jesus needs Surf. Vega has finally reached the town of the final gym. Now, will she be able to defeat the final gym? Next time. <sighs>